everybody. My name is Asma Shaukat. I'm a gastroenterologist at the University of Minnesota and the Minneapolis VA, and I'm a member of the AGA's Clinical Practice Update Committee. We have an exciting new clinical practice update for you on management of colonic diverticulitis. Yes, it's a condition that we see very commonly in our practice. The authors of this CPU are myself, Lisa Strait, and Anne Perry. And in this review, we go through practical evidence-based advice on management of diverticulitis, and we give you 14 best practice advice statements. In brief, we should start thinking about diverticulitis as either complicated or uncomplicated. A CT scan is usually the best modality to diagnose diverticulitis, particularly if complicated. And whether it's complicated or uncomplicated also determines if a colonoscopy is necessary and the timing of that colonoscopy. Antibiotic treatment is also uh, dependent on whether it's complicated or uncomplicated. And very often patients ask what can, they can do to reduce the risk of recurrence. Well, the answers are keeping a balanced diet, a regular BMI, and avoiding non-steroidals. There is no need to avoid nuts, seeds, or popcorn, a very common myth. For all these excellent best practice advices and more, uh, please click on the link below or go to the latest issue of Gastroenterology. Hope you enjoy this. Thank you.